Remember when Facebook was the hot ticket in town? Feel old yet? Blow out those candles, Facebook, 20 years old on February 4th. Back when Facebook first started, college students clamored for access and you needed an EDU address to sign up. Now most teens wouldn't be caught dead. My daughter just told me that um, Facebook is literally Snapchat for old people. If you're old enough to go on Facebook memories and cringe at what you used to write in the status bar, Crystal is living in a moment and planning her future, girl, what? You're not alone. There's a lot of people I don't like on the internet, but the person I hate the most is me on Facebook 10 years ago. Pushing past the cringe, while Facebook mostly has this reputation these days, Facebook is so uncool. Uh, uh, uh. It's still a trillion dollar company with more than 3 billion monthly active users. Surprising, right? It's like full of nothing but your hometown people, but them like the biggest haters of all. Travel back with me for a minute to the dorm rooms in 2004. MySpace and Friendster are just getting the social media movement off the ground. Don't get me started on the fact that we used to publicly rank our friends. Me at the Zoo, the first ever YouTube video, wouldn't be uploaded for another year. Rumored robot Mark Zuckerberg launched the Facebook as an online directory of Harvard students. Soon they allowed students at other Ivy League schools to join, made a crucial change to the name. Drop the the, just Facebook. And eventually expanded to all universities in the US and Canada. Two and a half years after launch, Facebook broke down the wall to anyone 13 and older with an email address. At the time, Facebook was bringing in about 30 million in revenue a year, and experts warned expanding reach the wrong way could give it the reputation of being a second-rate version of MySpace. Facebook would go on to buy Instagram and WhatsApp, launch an IPO, deal with some lawsuits. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook and go through another company name change, now Meta, to align with the shift toward the metaverse. Through it all, Facebook remains the most popular social media platform in the world. Facebook is for boomers. Right, so how did a social network invented for college students get its boomer reputation? It's certainly not because of actual demographics, where the biggest group is men aged 25 to 34, which, for the record, falls into the millennial category. True boomers make up maybe a tenth of Facebook's user base, but they tend to make themselves known. There's one reason, one reason only why I'm still on Facebook. And it is for the boomers and the gammons. They create their own comedy, they're hilarious. And then my dad, every night, tells everyone on Facebook good night. Good night, Facebook friends, going to bed. <laughs> for all its faults, there's nothing like thousands of people coming together to dunk on boomers on Facebook. So maybe you're here for the entertainment, but 20 years in, Facebook's struggling with its street cred. Let's look at teens age 13 to 17. 10 years ago, 71% of them said they used Facebook. Today, this Pew Research poll shows just 33% use the site. The reality is teens are flocking to short form video apps, whether it's YouTube at 93%, TikTok at 63%, Snap at 60, or Instagram at 59. Good news for Meta, they own Instagram, the third most used social network on the planet. And a substantial chunk of those users are 18 to 34, even if it's mostly just videos from TikTok. Gareth gets it. It was probably initially concerning for Facebook to see the teenage use drop off a cliff. But with all the heat it gets for harmful content for teens. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I would you like to do so now? Facebook is now purposefully focusing on young adults instead. And I've got news for you, Gen Z. Your generation is expected to soon outnumber boomers on Facebook, if you haven't already.